It's a beautiful morning. I thought I would step outside for a while at Universal Studios, Florida. Well, welcome everyone to your magical morning live stream. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, Leela and Oral from Cleveland, Cleveland Rocks. Hey, Dave Chapman. Welcome to studios. Hey, Sammy. I have a special surprise, a special person for everyone today. Here we have Labby the cabbie. Oh Greeting everyone with a big smile. A, Absolutely. A hearty hello. That is my job. Here to help them out. Give them direction. Point them in the right way. Right, Labby? Always. always. In, invaluable. Yes. So valuable. <laughs> Labby the cabbie. Thanks, pal. <laughs> we'll see you around, buddy. Absolutely. Have a great day. Live so, uh, streaming. Yeah, nice, it's nice to have Maxie back. And, you know, oh, you were on your little tricycle the other day. Oh, yeah, they, they did. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Well, the kids aren't around. It's Friday, Saturday. Oh, yeah. The rest of the week, we got our tags I know. Back. When those kids get around, though, yeah. got to hide her. Have a great day. <laughs> Labby the cabbie, everybody. Uh, message Universal via uh, whatever, Twitter, Facebook. What else? Just old-fashioned email. Save Labby the cabbie. What's up, Russell Jackson? Hello, Kobe. Colby and Trey and Sammy again. Crispy. Ed's theme parks. Good morning, everyone. We're just going to mosey around uh, Universal Studios. It is a beautiful morning, like I said earlier. Thought I'd get outside for a while and enjoy it at a theme park. This is my hometown. This is my hometown. Little Bruce, little boss for you right there. My hometown. Springsteen, the boss. I'm sure I didn't have to. Well, the way I sung it, I probably had to tell you. <laughs> it was Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> the way I sing it. Hey, look at that. It's a 15 minute wait for Minions. Mayhem. Three more minutes and this one opens. Three more minutes for blast. We're gonna mosey around, stroll, saunter, if you will, around Universal Studios Florida this morning. First thing, it just opened. The park just opened. As you can see, like uh, Minion Blast wasn't even open yet. They said two more minutes for Blast. The park officially opens at nine. We have a line of people building and you know, first thing they wanna do is do Rip Ride Rocket. First thing in the morning. They're warming up the coaster now. Oh my goodness! Finally, I mean, I'm just now noticing they're getting they're getting the uh, the little mural thing a little more completed. I gotta mention that in an update video. Russell Jackson here next week. Russell, you're the guy I ran into the mall that one time, right? Let me make sure I'm not confusing my viewers. Russell, I ran into you at the mall. A few weeks back, right? A couple months ago? <laughs> oh yeah, this is this will wake you up in the morning. I mean, if you skip that cup of coffee, uh, yeah, this will get you awake. Oh yes, okay. I just want to make sure, Russell. I thought so, I just didn't want to be mistaken. But yeah, I ran into Russell the other day at the mall.
but if you skipped your cup of coffee <laughs> certain elements of this uh, coaster will wake you up James Clark here in 20 minutes hey Jeffrey hey Gabby Oh, Emily's first time watching a live stream. Well, Emily, we just walk around chit-chatting like we're friends walking through the park. I don't know where the conversation will go. Uh, sometime, uh, sometimes it goes off on, on some weird tangents. Let's just say that. The thing about uh, live streaming at studios versus Islands of Adventure. Not a lot of outdoor rides here, so we don't get a lot of cool little roller coaster views like we do over there at Islands. This is like the main one. Uh, you know, over there at Islands, we get the Hulk, Velocicoaster, Hagrid's. You know, high in the sky trolley. We get a lot of outdoor action shots over there at Islands. Not as much here. Still a good time just to walk around and enjoy the ambiance of studios. This is my favorite part for just walking around, though. I did. I did see the HHN shirt in Black Russell. Hey, Chloe. <laughs> Trey. <clears throat> Was that yesterday we had the restroom talk? It all, <laughs> it, all bl it all blends together for me. Oh, what? Yes, it was yesterday. <laughs> I remember now. Thanks for reminding me. Go Finn, says Robert. Drop? Says the Beastie Boys. Anyway, this is my hometown. This is my hometown. Sound just like the boss, don't I? Just like him. Oh, there's the uh, the. Well, it is 9:02, but the coaster's not ready. You know, the funny thing is, when I was waiting for the live stream, they weren't they weren't running it then. They weren't getting it all warmed up then. I mean, they could have. Uh, I don't know why they didn't start the little warm up process a little earlier. This, this might be the longest line these people wait in today. Top of the morning to you, Johnny Thunder. Pick your, pick your song for this ride. Uh, it used to be a very long extensive choice they still have the secret um the secret uh, music list for you though you can still do the secret list if you don't do one of their pre-selected then you can't they won't do the video for you because of copyright reasons do i ever get bored no I knew I was boring going to my office cubicle every day. That, that, that was boring. You never know what's going to happen here. Also, when I was describing what we were doing today, moseying, strolling, sauntering through the park, I meant to say, we're going to have a walkabout mate. A man of a thousand voices. I needed to use the term, a walkabout mate. It's a walkabout. I'll let you guess what accent that is. But the line has opened up. They're going to put their stuff in a locker. There are metal detectors. And then do some rip ride rocketing. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a very large Apple Watch. And there's, there's my fam. Nikki, Courtney was in the middle. Oh, also got to show you. There's Winnie. Back to the girls. Courtney's in the middle. 
Caitlin's on the other side. All right, guys. Time to wake up. Dave Chapman, what accent am I using? It's a walkabout. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's Australian. <laughs> I think it may be him doing Australian. It's meant to be British. <laughs> all right, we're gonna. No one's. I don't think anyone's gotten through the actual queue yet. I think they're all still at the lockers. We're gonna watch the first group go down. Wait, wait. That fam, did that family already go? Did we miss one? Did we miss a group already? Anyway, we're trying to catch the first group of uh, guests to uh, rise up and then go down this drop. Empty. Okay, now people are getting past the metal detectors and they should be up there pretty soon. It's a really quick walk up the stairs there. Pennsylvania Dutch. <laughs> we're going to have a walkabout mate. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm half Australian, half Scottish, mate. <laughs> All right, we're looking for that first group. I haven't seen them board yet. They might be holding them down here, not letting them go up the stairs yet. When do I think Epic World will open? All indications at the moment, and things are subject to change, is that they are running ahead of schedule. Construction is progressing uh, quickly in their internal timeline. So, hey, Kev Jones. Oh, Kev Jones. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll see Kev Jones in a bit, everybody. I'm watching. I'm watching, like, right up there to see if they load people. And it looks like, it looks like, did I see, well, I see, I think I see people. Yes, they are loading the coaster now. They are loading the coaster right now. So we should have our first riders of the day. See, I didn't plan to do this. I didn't plan to show you the first ride, riders of the day at Rip Ride Rocket, but that's what we're doing. Yeah, my daughter's wedding, my is 4 25 25 so uh the way the universal likes to screw me i mean the way the universe likes to screw me um that'd be the opening date for epic okay i think yes we have people on this one well i like all the rides i like rides i'm a rides guy All right, first riders of the day. Will they scream? I'm guessing no. Oh, yes. We have some screamers. And some hoopers. Woohoo! You do not go upside down. That's inverted. It twists there. So technically, no inversions on Rip Ride Rocket. Now, it's not a matter of avoiding rides. You just prioritize. Hey, Christy Hicks. Yep, yep, that one's full. <laughs> I do intend to live stream the official opening day. I'm sure they're going to do things in phases. Uh, but the official open to the public grand opening day, I will be there at Epic. Uh, maybe sooner. Maybe I'll be part of some friends and family. Uh, who knows? <laughs> uh, super chat from Dominic. Says it's Dominic. Chris Mr. Costa. See you after our breakfast it's his 75th birthday god bless you dominic i would not guess you were that old you are you are my new uh you're my new hero you're setting goals for me
UK Universal. My thought is, I gotta pay for a flight, and I'm sure I have a, I, I'm sure I have several UK viewers who would be willing to host me <laughs> in their guest bedroom, and then uh, hop on a train with me to go visit the park. That's my thoughts. And that's if they don't mind me walking around London and England asking where, where's Le, Le Chester Square, guys? Excuse me, I'm American. Where's Le Chester Square? Well, come say hi when you get around uh, here, uh, Dominic. We'll be just moseying around. Just look, look, look for us on the live stream. There's probably a 30 second delay, but you'll find me. You know what they did? I was speaking to someone yesterday about when they opened Islands of Adventure. When they opened Islands of Adventure, this particular gentleman was a, a senior in high school. I think somewhere near Deltona, if I remember the conversation correctly. And uh, his school, our graduating class, got to visit Islands of Adventure before, like the week before it opened. So maybe Universal will do something like that again where some high schools can come and test out the rides before it officially opens. But uh, I spoke to a person yesterday who gave me that information, their experience, because... Um, because, you know, Islands of Adventure is just now is, is getting ready to turn 25 next month, 25 years old. And we were talking about that, and he said his senior class and in uh, the week before Islands opened, got to do a little visit there. So you would think they would want to scaffold it. They're not just going to open it up. They got to Start with small crowds and build up to larger crowds and maybe pass holder previews and friends and family night for uh, Universal team members. Universal team members can have themselves and their friends and family. I am friends to team members, so uh, hello. Hello, all my team member friends. If you're looking for someone else to uh, ask for or to attend friends and family night or day I'm available I'll change my schedule for that yeah the regional the more regional Universal Park they're building in Texas more of a family park I liken it to more kind of like a like a Lego land where it's more geared towards young families like non-teenage kids. There they come. There they come. Up there now. Yeah. If, if it's my daughter's wedding, that has priority. My daughter's only getting married once. One particular day. Uh, Epic Universe, while well, only having one grand opening day, We'll be open many, many days after, so. Family first, everybody. Halloween Horror Nights. Someone's asking Halloween Horror Nights. There's a website. There's a Facebook group, Horror Night Nightmares. Uh, I don't think have they put out the version 2 speculation map I haven't even looked at that one but they, they have a speculation map that evolves over time I would guess at this point that's probably half right hey 
a surefire bet. I'll give you the one surefire bet that I know about. Well, that I that I'm betting on. Let's put it that way. I don't know nothing. I'm betting on a quiet place. And what are your reactions to a quiet place haunted house? Yes, Gabby Day. Listen to Gabby Day, everyone. Click that like button. Ghostbusters Ghostbusters is a good guess because of, uh, you know, the new movie coming out. Beetlejuice, the new movie coming out. That'd be a... Uh, that would work. But the one I'm betting on at the moment as uh, a for sure would be A Quiet Place. There's a new movie, Quiet Place Day One, coming out. And for those of you wondering, how can you have a haunted house based on being quiet? Well, day one, they did not know to be quiet. They didn't know that about the creatures or the aliens invading. So day one wasn't very quiet. A lot of screaming day one. There will be something classic monster related. The Horror Night Nightmares speculation map, I believe, people can correct me if I'm wrong, I believe they are speculating Dracula. Maybe this is a swerve. Everyone wants Creature from the Black Lagoon. I'm pretty sure one of the sound stages has a big boat in it right now. Why would Dracula need a boat? I mean, obviously, people looking for the creature from the Black Lagoon would need a boat. I still have hope. <laughs> I have hope for the creature. But you know what I always say about hope? Who knows what I say about hope? First, Christy Hicks with a super chat says, Hey, Rick, loving the double dose of morning live streams. You're my favorite YouTuber channel. Uh, keep up the great work. Yes, Christy Hicks. And we, we will be live again tomorrow morning at 9. We're being live every morning this week. Except for Monday. I had, to, I had to pay taxes on Monday. Got me in a bad mood. My favorite place to eat at Universal Studios Florida. Right there, Finnegan's. Finnegan's, Finnegan's, Finnegan's. And after that, Finnegan's. It's a, yes, that's, that's right. Johnny Dubs knows. You can hope in one hand and crap in the other and see which one gets filled first. It's a movie coach. Hope no one's being too sensitive. I said the word crap. It's a movie quote. Gold star. If anyone knows the movie, I'm quoting when I say that. It is a beautiful morning, James. So beautiful, I thought I would step outside for a while. Nikki's doing okay. She's doing better. Hope to get her uh, doing some fun stuff this Sunday, whether it be bikes or boards. E-bikes. I got a brand new e-bike to test and review. No, it's not Tommy Boy. You can hope in one hand, crap in the other, and see which one gets filled first. 
not Tommy Boy. I'll give a couple more guesses and I will reveal. All right, Egyptian guards are here, but no goddess. I think she was working yesterday. We weren't over here yesterday. But anyways, there's my favorite. There's my favorite restaurant. Don't listen to that music. It's going to cause me trouble. Grumpy old men. The oldest. The father. The father of the grumpy old men says that. It's a 10 minute wait. That's not bad, fella. Yeah, get right on. <laughs> Take his advice, people. 10 minute wait, it's right on it. Don't delay. Yeah, I don't know if it was the original or the second one. You had grumpy old men and grumpier old men. Same difference. <laughs> Maybe we'll see the goddess later. Hope so. The original Grumpy Old Man, which you guys know, I keep saying they need to do a, re a remake. They need to do another Grumpy Old Men movie, but star Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is that is how I would cast. The new grumpy old men. I don't think I'm going to get that project off the ground, though. Hollywood is not listening to me. Still closed for foot traffic. They've got construction walls on the other side. I don't have any high level connections in Hollywood. I'd be casting Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito as the new grumpy old men. I mean, yeah, like they had great, they had great chemistry in twins, didn't they? No, that particular guard, actually both of them working right now, are friends of the channel, as I like to describe it. That's Amore. So in here, I got. I need to purchase something in here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but I did find a a spot on my new e-bike that would hold this or this I could go either way what's this look at the pricing Let's look at the pricing then we'll decide ten dollars that one would work that little that would work this is a little large but I might go with this one This one is 15. Is that one more? Did I just say this was 10? Yeah, that might be the fight. Yes, yeah, 10. This is $5 cheaper. Hmm. That's more dramatic. It's bigger. Huh. Sorry, fella. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm still getting used to the park in its natural form without Mardi Gras and without Halloween stuff, you know. I do like it. It looks all it looks 
clean, it crisp, it's crispy clean uh, without all the little food tents. But it does take a while after you've gone, you know, months and months visiting with Mardi Gras. It does take a while to get used to not having the little food tents and stuff. Oh, thank you, Chris Shaw. I hope so. Only up to only 44 for the e-bike to get it going. Back to the future. Uh, the summer shop, I would guess. Obviously, it's not going to be April. It could be as early as in May, sometime in May. Definitely June. So, we'll see if they make it into May or not. And here's something I... I'm sometimes, I'm sometimes asked this as we watch Rip Ride Rocket again. It's the best out, outdoor visual we have here at Studios as far as rides are concerned. Um, people ask about Halloween Horror Nights and Epic Universe... And they'll say, oh, Rick, do you ever think Epic Universe would have Halloween Horror Nights? And my answer is no. I think this is the park for events. It's, to me, it's the same level as, hey, Rick, do you ever think Magic Kingdom would have food and wine and not Epic or uh, Epcot? It's the same thought process for me. It's the same question. Do you think Magic Kingdom would ever have food and wine festival? No, it's not built for that. It's not made for that. It's not suited for that. I don't think Epic is suited for 10 haunted houses and 5 scare zones. I firmly, firmly believe that always and forever, HHN will be here at Studios because it's just better suited for it. All the sound stages they have back that way all the little the stuff behind uh, MIB yes Larry G there's a special haunted house or haunting in Vegas a year round in Vegas which could be a fun road trip hey hey could be a fun road trip to do that Let's go down Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, Emily says, don't go to the future. I think you're right, Emily. I think the past would be uh, better suited for me. Although this summer, it's almost like we're going back to the future with a Beetlejuice movie, a Ghostbusters movie. A Twisters movie. In some ways, we are going. Well, we're going to the past, really. The past is coming to the future. With the movies this summer. Yeah, like for Epic, they would have to... Everything would have to be in a special pop-up tent. They don't have sound stages over there at Epic. They would have to set it all up in like Celestial Park or something. I don't know. You know what they could do though? Just for fun, one haunted house at Epic in the Dark Universe, Monster Land. There we go, how about that? No extra, no extra ticket needed. Just put a haunted house. Oh man, we got some ideas coming now. I like this. Hold on a second. Who likes this idea? During HHN, they do one haunted house at, in the dark universe, in the monster world. And then at the end of the house, it's like, oh, come visit, come visit HHN for more haunted houses. They could do it as a preview 
as a promotion to try to get people to go to uh, to advertise HHN. Universal, if you're watching, and I know you are, uh, work that up the, the ladder there. Push that up the chain of command. Dark Universe gets one promo HHN house. Hey, Aloha Jax. What's going on, my friend? To my friends working in the Universal Studios cubicles, you office people, push that up the uh, chain of command. Be like, we know, we know it doesn't work for 10 houses, but one house in the dark universe. And we use it as a promotion. We'll set up a little kiosk at the end of the haunted house so you can buy your HHN tickets right after you leave the dark universe haunted house. Someone write this down. Is it right on, Uncle Ian. Roving Ranger Rick. Park Ranger Rick. A lot of scaffolding over here now. See some stuff back over there in the actual park. Oh, we're getting close. New Lagoon Show, a cinematic symphony movie magic. I don't know. I can't recall the, the new name they're going with. Except cinematics. on the rocks they have the water up uh, the water level up today though a lot of times we can see the whole platform when they have the water level down but see a little bit of it now so the water level is up a bit uh, which ride is the one that cheats you up and down? And is the rocket one just a roller coaster? Oh, oh, which one? Shoot, probably, you probably want to say shoots you up and down, like Dr. Doom's Fearfall has that rocket vertical launch. It just launches you straight up. That's Dr. Doom. That's at Islands of Adventure. Um... Uh, Yes, Rip Ride Rock is just it's a regular like roller coaster that has that lets you pick your own music. Tink Disney with a super chat says Maryland's show starts at 10 a.m. Rick, thank you. Tink Disney. We'll try to catch that in 18 minutes. We are now entering Battery Park. Uh, Glenn the day tripper, yes they do. Unless they're having auto problems, automobile problems, which will happen occasionally from time to time. They've got to hoof it. But as a general rule of thumb, they are driving around in the blues mobile. They'll drive it over to Delancey, do their little show, and then uh, drive it backstage. So this might just be like a cosmetic work on the rocks. A 
lot of stuff happening there with it. They've got heavy equipment over there. Like a big backhoe. This guy's just gonna walk right into the water. It's about, well, what is it like knee deep? It's like knee deep. Oh, now it's thigh deep. Super chat from Lauren says, hey Rick, long time watcher, but a more recent subscriber, thank you. I always used to uh, use YouTube to sign out. And my first super, super chat ever, congratulations Lauren, thank you so much Lauren. Uh, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for these live streams. They always make my work day better. That is the goal of the morning live streams is to kind of get your day off on the right foot. You know, try to ease your work morning a bit. Like a little distraction, diversion. So you're not thinking how bad being at work stinks. It's a Megatron. Now let's pop over here and take a look at Megatron. Also, Red Pride Rocket right in front of us too. Good shot of that climb up. That 90 degree hill. If we can even call it a hill, it's 90 degrees. Speaking of 90 degrees, we might we might get to 90 degrees today. <laughs> and which reminds me, I, I, I gotta gotta get my uh, my summertime joke back in place. Where I say, oh, it's 98 degrees today as we walk around the back streets of Universal, trying to get our lives in sync here in O-Town. That's, but that's, that's my summertime joke. Gotta wait on that. People who've watched the live streams in the summer before, they know that. For you newbies, that's a little preview. <laughs> of what I'll say during the summertime. Oh, Wonderlust just upgraded their membership. Thank you, Wonderlust. <laughs> he was he was so quiet before. So so dramatic. Trying to scare us. <laughs> he caught me a little off guard. Yeah, we do go in one direction down the back streets, by the way. <laughs> uh, Megatron auditioning for a spot in a HHN house. <laughs> he won't get me this time though. He won't get me next time. Let's see. Don't, don't you point at me. Don't you point at me. You gotta do this. By the way, otherwise it's rude. I do that way. <laughs> oh, Megatron wants to throw down with me. Come at me, bro. So the first day that they moved Marilyn and the Diamond Bellows over here to the Mel's Drive-In for their performance, 
it was like uh, during the weekend of grad bash so they didn't have the cars out here so I think having the cars over here will add to the setting oh speaking of Blues Brothers are they coming now? no that's Maryland Maryland's leaving never mind I saw the gates open over there Uh, so having the cars out for Maryland's show will be nice. I caught the first one accidentally the other day. Come on. <laughs> Brian the Brain Adler celebrates 22 months of membership. It says, happy magical morning, Rick and Flixers. I have two dad jokes locked and loaded. Are we going to see Murph or the goddess today on the, a live stream? I don't know. We'll see. At first, the goddess was not out. It was just the um, the Egyptian guards. So we'll see if she comes out. There's two of them that I would consider friends of the channel. I don't know every goddess. Our queen, whatever she is. But we'll make our way over there later and see if uh, one of the goddesses that appreciates our dad jokes is out. Another question is, when do I think Epic will open? I think they are uh, on track. I think on their own company timeline, I think they're running... Maybe might be running ahead of their own little schedule. So they might start uh, some openings earlier than we think. Maybe instead of a early summer, they do it late spring. But we're still like 12 months away, right? 13 months, 12 months. Um, I don't think I'm going on the mummy today. I'm going to do this live stream um, for a couple hours, another like another little hour of this live stream, and then I'm going to give myself a lunch break, and then I'm going to go record an update video for Islands of Adventure. I noticed a lot of updates yesterday during that live stream. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Good. How you doing, Rex? Good. I love the ET shirts. Nice. Well done. Who made it? You make the shirts? Yeah. yeah, good job. Nice. Yeah, we're in from Boston. We follow you. Appreciate that. Thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah, we appreciate you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks so much. I enjoyed your time here. Yeah, all right. Yeah, have fun. See ya. We'll see you around. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to live stream here. Yeah. Was oh, okay? Yeah. Okay. Want to do a picture? Sorry, man. Oh, no problem. I don't want to interrupt you. Yeah, yeah. No big deal. Let's do it. Thank you. Awesome. Have a great day. You too, guys. Anyway, what was I saying? Live stream, lunch break, update video at Islands. That's that's my... Hopefully, I have that update video posted by 6 or 7 p.m. tonight. That's the plan. Eight minutes till Maryland. And speaking of videos, was it yesterday's video where I showed that pixel sword and I was jokingly saying, oh, I'm going to call it a Zelda pixel sword. And I got some comments, oh, that's not Zelda, that's this or whatever. Uh, people not understanding, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing because the long-standing rumor of Zelda taking over the Lost Continent that I would see a pixel sword and relate it to Zelda. It was just me being funny and trying to like troll uh, Universal and Zelda. I didn't really think it was a Zelda sword. <laughs> I gotta remember, I gotta be careful with my dry sense of humor and my deadpan delivery on some things.
We're gonna have a Maryland show for you in seven minutes. Yes, you know, it, it. I do. I think it'd be nice if studios had a water ride. But they don't have a lot of... I mean, they can always expand into the back lot behind um, <coughs> MIB. Maybe. I mean, that is where they keep some haunted houses. Right now, we have expansion areas ready right over there for um, uh, the old Fear Factor Stadium. That's right next to London. So that would work as an expansion to Harry Potter. Are they fly fishing? What's going on? They look like a bunch of fly fishermen out there. Catching anything? What are they biting on? Let's see. Brian the Brain Adler with a super chat. Here is the one for the Egyptian goddess. Why was the Egyptian goddess terrible at selling pyramids? Everyone thought it was all a scheme. I get it. I get it. Taylor Swift. I am 99% certain the Lost Continent will become uh, a land for Zelda. Yeah, we got a bunch of fly fishermen. I don't doesn't look like they're catching much. You have to buy ponchos. I think they run for like a child of on eleven dollars and sixteen for adults. Hey, good to see you guys again. Nice to see you. How's it going today? Good. Had a good day yesterday. Oh yeah, it's yeah, been great. Gorgeous. It's oh. been warm, but we don't have the humidity. Oh, it's a blessing. So yeah, yeah. It's very nice. A little nicer than summertime. Well, I was saying it looks like there are a bunch of fly fishermen out there. I was wondering what was biting today, what they're biting on today. But I don't think they're catching much. <laughs> right. So hopefully this summer we have a new show. Yeah. Parade and show. Yeah. That's the scuttlebutt. Yeah. Yeah, you too. We'll see you around. Yes, we're, we're waiting good. for Marilyn. She should be out in about four minutes over oh, okay. here. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're stalling for Marilyn. Enjoying the pretty flowers too. I'll do at least one Volcano Bay. Um, you know, we can't take GoPros and stuff on the slides and stuff, so that's always a a negative one reason I know we can't take stuff on rides here it's just more I don't know the larger parks more things to talk about at the theme parks than uh, Volcano Bay but we'll we'll probably go over there and do some type of list video a top 10 a top 6 something like that uh, Chris with a super chat says would would you think making a Game of Thrones themed island where the Lost Continent uh, would be a hit? You would think that? I love Game of Thrones, except for the last season. I love Game of Thrones. If they hadn't fumbled that last season, it'd be... Well, I guess it still is one of the best all-time series. <clears throat> but they did, they did trip a little bit over the last hurdle. Last hurdle syndrome. Is what we call that in track and field. All right, we're getting ready. We're getting ready. And so we've been live streaming for over an hour. Welcome to hour number two. Wherever you may be, however you may be watching, we invite you to click that subscribe button. <clears throat> we will take this live stream to around 11. 
I think. And then I'll go do that update video for you guys. Brian the Brain Adler with his other dad joke. Murph's joke. Why don't sharks swim backwards? I can't, I don't know how to, how do you say this? This is what it has to be audio. Because, na dud, na dud, na dud doesn't sound scary. And I don't even know if I said that how you want me to say it. Na dud, na dud, na dud. Is that how, am I saying it right? Thanks for the super chat, Brian the Brain Adler. If I run into the goddess, I'll use that one. I, I don't think I can use that one on Murph. I don't know if I'm saying it exactly how you want me to say it. Oh, I see, I see dance shoes. Maryland and the Diamond Bellas, the first show of the day. Coming in mere moments as the ladies should be coming around this corner over here. There's the director now. I see his shoulder. Yes, I see. I see. <clears throat> Which Marilyn is it? And here they come. Good morning. Good morning. I'll be camera one for you today if you don't mind. Hey, ladies. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> Good luck. Break a leg, I mean. I mean, break a leg. And that's how she got the gig, eh? Here we are, the new home of Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas. Oh! No show, it's just the pictures. Someone give me a dad joke for Marilyn. I don't have one. No show this time. Someone someone Google me real fast. A Marilyn Monroe dad joke. Brian the Brain Adler, I need you. They did turn off the music though for the street. Brian, get on Google right now. I need a Maryland. I should have done. I should have done this ahead of time. I should have prepared a bunch of Maryland or '50s jokes or dance jokes or something. They're dancers. Give me a dance joke. <clears throat> They're not performing. I need to perform. Google, chat, GPT. They'll know jokes. Maryland joke or a dance joke. They're all dancers. They would appreciate a dance joke. Google, Duck, Duck, Go, Chat GPT. Oh, 
She jazz squares it. What? I don't know if I like that one. Hold on. How does a dancer multiply numbers by itself? She jazz jazz squares it. Oh, like just squares it? Eh, I don't know. I need better. Sorry. Uh, two blondes were headed to Disney World when they came to a fork in the road. It said Disney World left. So they went home. Rick, how you doing, buddy? Good, good. <laughs> okay, I like the agony of defeat. Was it this side? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> What did the dancer feel after a long day of rehearsal? The agony of defeat. <laughs> I'm going with the agony of defeat first. Oh no, we, I think we got a band come. Oh, the band's over there? Yeah, there's the band. <laughs> I'll do the entertaining today. We have a high school band marching that way. We gotta beat them. I wanna do the joke before the band gets here. I thought I would do the entertaining today. So I give you the morning off, but this is from Matt. What did the dancer feel after a long day of rehearsal? The agony of defeat. <laughs> <laughs> that joke works better on a toast day. <laughs> uh, let's see. I got one more. Let's see. Let's find another one here. Oh, now this is this, this is from Heather. She maybe she's blonde because it's a blonde joke. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> two blondes were headed to Disney World when they came to a fork in the road. It said Disney World left, so they went home. Yeah. And that's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> All right. Last time there was a fork in the road, I had a free supper. So what do you say? Can I make it over in the, the horror makeup show with those jokes? Uh, listen, <laughs> we're supposed to encourage positivity to our guests. Uh, well, so I'll say yes. Thank you for your generosity. <laughs> of course. <laughs> My ladies. Bye. My goodness, I need to go see a priest with all that lying. <laughs> That's, thank you, Heather Dobson, for the jokes. And everyone else. And Matt. 10 o'clock, this is open now.
All right, I will, uh, you know what? I've got to create a log book of dance jokes. Oh, the parades? The, well, I don't know when they do the little the high school parades. Universal doesn't have a parade right now. We're hoping during the summertime uh, Universal gets a new parade. But at the moment, Universal doesn't have a parade. That's just a random high school band marching through. Probably because they were here for a um, grad bash or something. I don't know. No, you gotta be. Usually, I'm not a big fan of trolls on the channel. I'll make an exception for Poppy. Oh, really, Matt? Oh, see, we got construction walls here, too. Keeping us from uh, getting too close to the little work they're doing in Central Park. We've got the time train. The time machine train. We got the time car over here. The DeLorean. Coming soon to a video near you. The time e-bike. I just got a brand new silver e-bike. I'm gonna get a tag for it. I just got a wedding question from my daughter, Caitlin. Hold on, I gotta set you guys down. You guys enjoy, well, a view of the backside of the car. You bet, baby. All right. Caitlin had a question for the wedding day. You guys catching all the sound effects? That's the horn of the DeLorean, by the way. Quiet in the mornings, quiet in the mornings, especially during the, uh, the non-peak season. <sighs> Again, that's the that's the horn of the DeLorean. Don't let anyone tell you different. Don't let anyone tell you different. That little water feature is working today. <laughs> it is the taco truck. It is. <clears throat> Again, I have to be I have to be careful about my dry sense of humor and deadpan delivery. Sometimes that's the <laughs> that's the horn of the taco taco truck. Oh, 
Oh, here comes the band. That's uh, what's a good sh angle? Live on YouTube right now. Where's this band from? North Carolina. I think she said Oxford. I think there's I think there's a few bands around today. This, this looks different than the band I saw earlier, I think. But that one's from North Kakalaki. Look guys, I'm in the band. My pleasure to bring the live stream to you, Johnny Walken. they're getting further away but it's louder acoustics it's acoustics Coach Dave, we will be live again tomorrow morning. We're live this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then Saturday night as usual. But uh, my other channel, my other channel, uh, morning live streams tested well. And so I thought I would uh, bring it over to Rick's Flicks and see how it goes here. A little too sunny, a little too sunny. Too much glare here. Got too much glare. There we go. 10 minute wait. 10, hello. Uh, 10 minute wait for Simpsons. There might be more than one band. I thought the one I saw. Wait a second. Yeah, there's an, here's here comes the other band. I thought there was more than one. 
I did when I looked back before I, I didn't see red. I thought I saw I thought I saw blue and yes. Here comes the other band. Wesley Chapel. Hey, my daughter lives near Wesley Chapel. <clears throat> my daughter who's getting married uh, lives in Wesley Chapel. She doesn't teach at that school though. Hey, hi, how's it going? Good, good, good to see you. Want to do a picture? Thank you so much. You're welcome. I know. Oh, well, good. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, glad to help. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you. Me too. I see back. Subscribe to Rick's Flicks. You're on Rick's Flicks right now. No, it's not busy. Well, that music on this bridge is turned up pretty loud. I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I have any rumors. I wonder if I can go this way. Maybe they have the music off because of the band over here. Let's see what happens when we go this way. It's not very busy. Trying to listen if I hear other bands. Thought maybe I heard one. If not, we'll go to the bathroom. Mmm. Mmm. No. I don't hear one. But they do have the music turned off over here by MIB, probably because of the band. It's so quiet. It's a quiet place. 10 minutes for MIB. Oh, 15, my bad, 15.
think they'll let me in the park with my inflatable kayak. I'll kayak on down the uh, lagoon here. Probably not. Is an inflatable kayak on the not allowed list? <clears throat> See, no rumor today. They've been storing stuff for like uh, the fountain show back here in the stadium, stage area. The Halloween Horror Nights stage, everybody. The future home of a new Harry Potter attraction. Right here. One day. Not one day soon, though. They got a whole new theme park they're opening up. Although, you kind of you kind of need to add something new to islands and studios so that people just don't forget about these parks. Like, as they're visiting Epic, like, oh, there's a whole new Harry Potter ride at Studios we haven't done. We need to go do that, too. Or, hey, there's Zelda Land at the Lost, um, at Islands of Adventure we haven't done. When we're done here at Epic, let's pop over to Islands of Adventure and check out the new Zelda Land. We need to have synergy, people. Right, D.B. Witty? Right, D.B. Witty? We need synergy. Well, at one time, we thought they'd put the Ministry of Magic where that stadium is, but the Ministry of Magic... Is going in epic, so who knows? Something one day. Maybe in my lifetime, maybe not. The best food in Harry Potter world. I like the chicken sandwich they have in here. I like Shepherd's Pie. As a snack, the jacket potatoes are really good. More like a snack versus a meal. Over at, uh, over at Hogsmeade with the three broomsticks. I like their chickens, their, their ribs, uh, their corn on the cob, their potato wedges. DreamWorks Land. Um, I would say, oh, the first week of May. Uh, I don't know about the first week of May. I'm going to say no. The last week of May, maybe. First week, I don't think so. Oh, no. I would not expect that until late May, early June. But that is just a guess. That is a guess on my part. Hey, Ty in Cape Town. <clears throat> Yeah, I have a whole playlist on food, I think. <clears throat> and every update video that I do, I do two a week, one at Islands and one for Studios. I do a quick food review at the place I eat on that day. But I think I have a whole playlist on restaurants and food. <clears throat> Yeah, they say the summer of 24. But they don't say early summer. 
late summer, midsummer. They don't say summer as in the farmer, the farmer's almanac. For us in Florida, summer starts in June. That's when the kids get out of school. Typically, for the most part, the first week of June, kids are out of school. So that is summer. That's our summer break. So what do they define as summer? They've never really defined summer for us. Is it the Mother Nature's calendar of when summer is? Is it the practical, you know, school calendar of when summer is? I don't know. Midsummer, early summer, late summer. They have a lot of wiggle room. They don't like to uh, paint themselves into a corner by saying June 17th. At least not at this point. Not at this point in the process. <clears throat> All right, Johnny Walken. You have a good one, sir. Have a good day. We're just going to look at Leicester Square Station. Leicester Square. <clears throat> they have a wide berth for their for their calendar dates of when that's going to open. <clears throat> According to Mother Nature's calendar, what, summer goes all the way into like, what is it, late September, mid-September? <clears throat> I've been trained because of school, me getting out for summer break, my kids getting out for summer break, that summer starts the first week in June. Ty, no one's ever told me that, Ty. Are you sure? Because I'm sure someone would have told me that in the past. Oh, there I go with that dry sense of humor again. Are you sure about that, Ty? Because I'm sure someone would have told me that in the past. We're going to let these lovely ladies entertain us for a bit. Space. People are people are afraid. To, people are afraid to come up. What's up? Darlings, come closer. Yes. Come closer. I don't mind. There we go. They're like afraid. My dress. They won't pick me because I'm holding the camera.
Did I get here late or was it abbreviated? Uh -huh. Did I get here late or was it abbreviated? Uh, they didn't do, no. Did they do the BOA stuff? Yeah, they had to do the BOA stuff. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't do the whole show. Hey guys. Hi, hey, hey. How's it going? Nice to meet you guys. Where are you from? Okay, nice. Thanks for watching the stuff. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, got it. It's homework. It's homework assignments, right? First timers? Second. Second. Oh, yeah. You like the Harry Potter stuff? I like your shirt. Got a lot of Harry Potter on there. Oh, nice. Thanks for watching and everything. Of course. Enjoy. I hope I can help a little bit. Yes, for sure. Nikki? Uh, Nikki's at school. She's a speech therapist out of school. So, whenever kids are in school, she's in school. <laughs> so. Thank God we're want to do a picture or anything before we leave? Yes. I can, yeah, I can do a... I can get... You got it, Chris? You got it? Okay. Are you going to get in there? All right. Awesome. Thank you. My pleasure, guys. Have a good time. Thank you, we'll see you around. Bye bye. It was a, a short set. We're going to miss the dragon. It's going right now. We're missing it. Even I'm not this fast. Actually, if I ran, I, I could have got it. And go. Yep, if I had hustled, I would have gotten it. Well done, dragon! Technical difficulties. Yep, I did have time. All right. Let's go check on the wait time for Gringotts. We'll get there eventually. Jersey Jim with a super chat. My one-year-old granddaughter danced her head off with the banshees. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Maria, thanks for subscribing. You too, Nath. And Logan and Steph. Neil DB Witty did chime in with a super chat. I heard you calling for me, Rick, says DB Witty. It is a 20 minute wait. And half of that time will be just walking to the, the ride vehicle. How you like that? How you like, do you like apples? I got a 20 minute wait. How you like them apples?
call back to Goodwill Hunting. I know Uncle Ian. Is this varies? I don't. Maybe it's the app I'm using. I switched apps again. Uh, this app seems to do uh, better in Diagon Alley than the other app, or maybe just because the crowds are smaller. I don't know. Don't get splashed, don't get splashed, don't get splashed. So I'm going to go over to uh, Islands of Adventure here in a bit. I have a very, very interesting update. Very interesting what Universal is doing over there. It's paving the way for the future. I'm not sure I got to come up with kind of a cute little tease for the video, the start of the video. But uh, a major operational change is happening slowly in phases at Islands of Adventure. This one particular spot has gone 100% to the new operational procedure. Um, very, very interesting. So that is one thing I need to report on. Many of you may have seen my live stream from yesterday where I had to mute it as I gathered some information but I just not that big of a secret but uh big change big big change over there at islands drastic steps taken by Universal in this change Maybe that'll be my tease. Drastic steps taken by Universal. Cut to the music and the Rick Springs Flicks and Relax card. Then to, hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here. Drastic change. We still have 14 minutes until Shea Alcatraz opens. I'll try it out, maybe we'll hang out here. Good morning, Bill. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Kev Jones. Up, hey, Kev, Kev Jones, How's everybody. What's up, guys? How's it going? Hey. Good to see you, bro. How you doing? Doing great. I just jogged. <laughs> we, we, uh, you went out the other way. Oh, Daigon. oh, Daigon, yeah. We came in the regular There you room. go. My wife and our friends are over there about to go to Green Gott, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 20 minute wait, man. To only, 20? only 20 minutes. I know it's been pretty. Yeah. Very, uh, fairly uh, other than the week busy. other than the weekend uh, for grad bash like the first the, you have Easter Sunday right that week after week, week that's, that's it's, it's crazy week crazy week but after. then after the week after it's been beautiful it's been, oh it's and been the beautiful. weather's been yeah. awesome it's warm but not humid yep so we're from Colorado right yeah so yeah even we just miss the humidity period <laughs> we do because yeah. we're originally from Texas right? oh yeah that's right that's right how's Nikki She's doing better, you know yeah. her, her back situation. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, she's recovering from her last outage. Yeah. We went. To, we were going to go uh, kayaking and subboarding one morning. Well, this past Sunday, but the Sunday before. Right. And right before we got ready to leave, she wanted to take out the trash. <laughs> so she bent over to get grab the trash oh, can and threw it out. Drop, drop to oh, the floor. And man. there, and then she was kind of, kind of uh, on the mend for a week, but she's she's doing pretty good now, I think. We're going to try to get back on the board in the kayak this yeah, this next weekend. totally. It's crazy. So. My wife, Tina, uh, threw her back out not long ago. It's yeah. taken a few weeks to recover yeah, from yeah. that. I think she sneezed wrong. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for real. It's always something like that. It's really good to see <laughs> you, too. Though, bro. How long how long you visiting for? Dude, uh, my, Tina and I, we've been off for, uh, we've never had this much time off ever. We had two right. weeks off. Uh-huh. And so uh, celebrating our 10-year wedding. Happy year. anniversary. Yes. Hey, 10, 10 years for Kev Jones. Hey, 10. Give me one more time. Yeah. There we go. And my yeah, my daughter's getting married next year. Dude, I, yeah. I heard that. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. 
Um, is he? Is he? Do you like him? Is yeah, he... yeah. We've known him for ten years. Okay, okay good. <laughs> they met in they met in middle school. They did. And they started. They didn't date till like maybe sophomore year in high school. So wow. But we've known him for a long time. Bro, he, that's so he's, crazy. He's no longer, no longer afraid of me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm when, about to say, when, me, when, me when, and you. Let's when, go. Let's when go. they were growing up, the kids were like, uh, "Dad, all the guys are afraid of you." <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, you're, <laughs> I'm a bigger you're, guy. Yeah, you're, you're not I'm, the you know, smallest yeah. guy, for sure. <laughs> no, uh, it's crazy. Me and my wife, Rick, we went to the same elementary, same oh, wow. junior high, same high school, oh. and never knew each other. Oh, that's, oh my goodness. <laughs> when did you, did you meet after high school? Well, we did. Well, she, yeah, she kind of knew me a little right, bit. Right, right. You know, I was the, in the grade above her. Okay, gotcha. But uh, yeah. my senior class had like 800 people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness, you know, yes. big Texas school. Yeah, that's huge. Dude, and I always freak out looking at that. So oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the, right the, right yeah the, the, the twist up there. You don't, yeah, you don't know. go, you don't go upside down, Kev Jones. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> Wait, no. First Rick, time, first time he rode Rip Ride Rocket, Rocket was with me. Rick, help first me time ever. My fear, I've got the picture <laughs> framed. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we did the picture. And, uh, no, you help me. I, I still, I still get nervous. Right yeah, now. I don't blame you. But man, it's Have, do, you, do you go? Do you ride the Velocicoaster at all? Uh, I do. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I see. Oh, you, once you help me, that <laughs> now, with, with everything's Ride, everything's everything. available to you. Yeah, everything's. <laughs> I know, bro. It's seriously good. Yeah, it's how so long going to be here? We leave Friday. Okay, Friday. Come, I'm I'll be um, you. I'll be um, I'll be doing morning live streams for Thursday and Friday. So I, I don't, I'm not sure which parks I'm going to be at which okay. way, but well, we're here. Both mornings I'll be around. Well, I'll, I'll yeah. get to see you again, man. Yeah, yeah you seriously, will. Everybody, don't be slacking. Go hit the like button. <laughs> right on, Kev. Share it, comment, all the things. <laughs> seriously, God bless you, bro. God bless well, yeah, you too, man. I hope, I hope to see you. Um, you know, Thursday or Friday too. Awesome, dude. Yeah. I look, yeah, well, I yeah. really hope so. Well, I'll do a live stream in the morning, then the in the afternoons I'll be uh, filming videos. Okay, so. all right. You'll probably run into me, dude. I need a hug. <laughs> yeah, I need a hug. Good to see you, my <laughs> friend. Knuckles Knuck- Knuck- isn't enough, bro. Yeah, right on. It's Y'all good. Awesome. Nice see to you, see you as always, buddy. Yeah, dude. It's so good. Kev Jones, everybody. Awesome, <laughs> the nicest, most positive guy you will run into, Kev Jones. Zach is getting the place ready, opening up, Morning. getting ready for the uh, the day uh, here at Shea. Not, I'm not in the right mindset <laughs> for this. I got Did you surf this morning? I surfed on Sunday morning. Sunday morning, Sunday morning was morning. surfing. Sun, Sunday, 7.30. Yeah, I, I could imagine it's hard to switch gears from the board to uh, the bar. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah the board, that to board to bar transfer. Like slow living out there on the ocean. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. All right, we're almost done with our live stream. I'm going to head over to Islands, my friend. All right, bud. You guys have a good day here. All right, buddy. You too, man. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, Kev Jones. uh, I got probably the most positive person I've ever met. That's the way to... That's the way to take on life. Positivity. Uh, He's always happy. Having a good time, very very positive. Like I said, I was, I went on Rip Ride Rocket with him to help him get over his fear of going on Rip Ride Rocket. And always have that bond. All right, the beat builders going on over here have we missed the rocking spiel are we I don't know where we are in the program here yeah I think we missed the rocking spiel all right all the way from Canada let's get it for Scott everybody yes Safety Scott, all the way from Canada, all set. I want to take this moment to talk to you all about safety. So, number one priority of Universal Studios, whether you're building your beats at home or with Safety Scott, just make sure you wear the proper protective gear. Safety, Scott, looking you, good. safety's right, universal. Have you, uh, turn around, face the crowd, give a nice wave there. Nice, Woo! yeah. Perfect. Yes. All right, everything good? Don't worry about it. Okay, here, just hold on to the bucket. Nice and tight, don't let go. Come step back this way. Keep going, don't look, keep going. Stop, 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 stop. Scott, that's a safe zone, all right? It's very important you don't move from that spot because safety is universal. Good job, good job. Back to the bucket. All right, to make sure Scott's extra safe, we're going to lower that visor. How you doing in there? Hey, doing good. What's that? Oh, best show ever, eh? Hey, best show ever. Oh, thank you. All right, now for everybody else.
else, we need your help on this one. Put those hands together for us one more time. Then we're gonna see how fast you can build these beats. All, All right, right, here we go. Hold on tight, see you in a sec. Let's do, do this. this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now your chance to be a beat builder. Are you ready? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I was asking him. But it's great that you're ready too. So take this cowbell. Take this stick. Now Scott, in the name of sawdust and safety, hit the cowbell with the stick. Yes! Yeah. Hey, let's get it played along to the beat builder's theme song. All right, Scott, let's put it to the test. See what kind of game one of these days. I'm gonna count see Let's do this. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, dude, I knew it. Hey, Scott, let's add in the beat. Watch this. Trying to see what's going on over there at Mel's. Maybe we can try to make it over for Maryland. We might catch Maryland and the Diamond Bellas performing after all. We have the Blues Brothers performing over here. I think Maryland's probably going in five minutes, so we got five minutes. I see one Egyptian guard. I don't see the goddess queen out today. No, I do not. There they are. Conga line. Come on, everybody. There ain't no party like a Blues Brother party. All right, that's two hours of the live stream, but we're going to go catch Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas perform. <clears throat> have a lunch break, do an update video, go home, shower, edit it, upload it. It should be ready for you at 6, but no later than 7 p.m. <clears throat> Yesterday's video was a buy this or maybe that video those are always a little easier and quicker in editing <clears throat> and i do have a a good a good number of updates for you one very dramatic change universal is making Hang on tight if the live stream gets a little jiggy here. Hopefully it clears up by the time we get over to Maryland. Just glitching out a little bit maybe. I don't know, I can't tell how it is on your end. <clears throat> if 
but uh, hopefully it clears up for the performance we're about to witness. Thank you, Dave Chapman. And I'm going to do, I've got to do a, let's see, I'm going to do the food review. I want to eat now. Maybe I have a little snack for lunch and the food review I do for the update video is mixed in. But she was cool with the, the barricades, right? Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Excellent. Is this where we want to play or do you want to stay on the stage? Okay, we are just moments away. I think I see, look at all the like, official, official looking people analyzing what's happening with Maryland. I thought I saw some dance shoes over there. They're getting ready to come out from right over there. Since the light, the sun's going this way, I like to stand on this side. Oh shoot, the signal's getting weak. Don't do this to me, don't do this to me. You didn't wait for the light, honey? It's not green. You can't close when it's red. You're gonna get a ticket. There they are. Well, 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 ladies. There should be a join button. Background talent has arrived. Oh, and they couldn't be. Oh. Don't die on me, stream. I didn't get your name. Hang on tight. Hopefully, if it gets glitchy, it'll clear up. We don't want a glitchy Maryland. Yes, yeah, getting. I can tell. Well, this is bad luck. Oh, well, I can enjoy. It. I might just say. I might just have to end the stream now, and I will enjoy Maryland and the Diamond Bellas by myself. It's the mystery machine. We got, we got a hitchhike. We're hitching. It's the seventies. We can hitch. <laughs> huh, I don't know, Bill. Try on a. I don't know if you try it on a laptop, maybe. Oh, now we got these guys rolling by. It's getting busy. We got some traffic over here. We got traffic. Mr. Machine, Blues Mobile. All right, thank you, Jim. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Hollywood director, Danny Petty. A lot of traffic over here in this corner. I know you're a big deal when three people clap when they work here. Let me try that again. I'm in the Miss Hollywood director, Manny Petty. Thank you, Roll Adam, for the super chat. In mere seconds, our stars will arrive. We'd we'll love to meet up at Universal and do a short. I'm going to need your enthusiasm. I'm here a lot. Every time you see me, throw my hands in the air and say the word excitement. I want you to scream, shout, holler. Let's practice on three. One, two, three, excitement. Woo! I have a little problem. Gabrielle, Gabriel, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. Here they come. Jeremiah. Fantastic. I spit a little when I said it. I hope you don't mind. Jeremiah, what's your dad's name? Lewis? Is that him right there? Lewis! Lewis! Be careful. I think he's trying to change choreography Listen, again. He's trying to change the moves again. Watch out for him. He's changing up the moves. Why don't we pass this bottle of water right up? Is this water? I don't think so. Lewis, come here real quick. No, no, this is fantastic. Let's see. I bet he, he's going to change up the moves on the girls. We're going to be our star today. 
All right, then you just stand But right this is just a rehearsal, so it's okay. The only thing left to do is quote my favorite movie star, Mr. Charlie Chaplin, with a little quiet on the set. Whoa, sir! You're in luck. You stumbled upon a rehearsal for this Maryland's newest book, yet to be titled Hollywood Spectacular, starring each and every one of you, and Jeremiah and his family, as Miss Maryland and the Diamond Bellas perform for the troops, all together nice and loud excitement. Woo! Ladies, there's been a choreography change. We've cut the ballet. Apparently, there's no point. So give me shimmy. Give me yeah, shimmy. Give me shimmy. But honey, keep it all inside. Girls! You, I need to see sass. I need to see class. I need to see atmosphere. Watch it. Jeremiah <laughs> is right over there. And to the camera. Oh, Miss Marilyn, if you need anything at all, do not hesitate to ask. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, never mind. That, that Marilyn knows how to spin. Kiki, you made it. Tiger. Get, 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 get. Okay. Come on, girls. Big finish for the opening number. Make it count. The square cut or pear shape. These rocks don't lose. This is our patriotic number. Let me see that salute. Fantastic. Sweet sugar candy man. Listen, ladies. I'm coming in for a close-up. I need that choreo type. A 5-6-7-M. Yes! So excited when they point out, point out me to be the Candyman. 
<clears throat> Let's walk out to City Walk. I might have my little lunch at uh, NBC Grill before I go do my update video. Gotta recharge, refresh, and recharge. Bill, if you go to one of my videos, I think my video, it's not in the description of the live streams, but I think the descriptions I put in my videos has a link for channel memberships. That's right there by the, all the little 50s cars and everything. Fun morning at Universal Studios, Florida. I hope to have a video out for you tonight. I gotta get it recorded first. That's what, that's what I'm doing next. And then gotta edit it when I get home. And then upload it and do all the other stuff. So, But I, I should have it. I wanna have it for you at six. 7 o'clock is the latest I would want to post it. But don't get it posted by 7. I'll just put it up tomorrow. <clears throat> oh my goodness. We started the live stream with Labby. We're going to end it with Labby. So good to see you, you again. Too. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I'll be live streaming uh, Thursday and Friday mornings as well. That's Hope I see I'll you around. For okay. You. See you, Labby. We started it with Labby at the beginning and here at the end. Labby the cabbie again. A universal icon. Which, by the way, message universal via Twitter, uh, Facebook, old-fashioned email, you don't have to say a lot. Just just message them, save Labby the cabbie. You don't have to write a book. Just that simple message, save Labby the cabbie. The crowds were, have been lighter. They're always lighter in the morning anyway. So we saw some really low wait times. Gringotts. Just 20 minutes when we looked at it. That's a short wait time for sure for one of the best rides in the park. All righty. Let you guys look at the globe. <clears throat> Foggy. That was a nice little stroll in Mosey. Walkabout mate around studios. Thanks for tuning in. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. See you in the upcoming video. Bye-bye. Time to eat, recharge, and make a video for you.